Hello guys, KP Shamino here and in this guide I'm going to show you guys the best way to farm experience from level 18. So I got all the big fish in California that are available here, here and I'm going to show you guys the experience that you get from them and then I'm going to compare and then I'm going to show you guys where I always fish and what I think is the best way to get a lot of experience. So I'm going to the dam because there is the position that I think is the best to farm. Why? I will explain uh, with my net. Why I'm fishing there with the experience and all that stuff. So you guys can see already that I fished the whole day. My net is totally full. So I'm going to show you guys the stats of all the fish here. So first of all, you got the carp and the carp got one major benefit that it's very easy to catch him. So he bites really quick. You just throw at one position and it's really easy to catch him. But there is one main problem with the carp, as you guys can see, is that he gives not a lot of experience. That's the main problem. So for a common carp, a normal one, you got only 140, 150 experience. That's with premium because I got premium on, but compared to the other fish, it's not good. So you can catch them really quick, but for an experience farm, I would not suggest that you farm the carp. Okay. Then I went to the steelhead and the steelhead is, in my opinion, really good. He bites really quick. You can fish the whole day on him. He bites the whole day and he gives like very much experience compared to his weight. So here you can see, if you see the carp, he's like three kilograms. The steel is is three and a half kilograms, but he almost gives 100 more experience. Okay. He gives a little bit more currency too than the carp, but this is a movie about experience. Okay. Then we are going to compare the striped bass with the steel hat and the striped bass is a little bit at the same level with experience than the steel hat but the striped bass is a lot higher in weight so for a weight of 5.2 kilograms he gives 315 uh, experience and a steel hat for 4.1 kilograms he gives 316 experience so you are going to get a lot of more steel heads in your net than striped bass so that means that you are going to get more experience but on the other fact he gives more currency the striped bass but it's not good i would not farm striped bass i would not farm carp it's still the steel head that is in my opinion the best to farm him then uh the last one i think is the chinook salmon and the chinook salmon is uh like you guys can see, he gives a lot of experience, but he's a very heavy fish too. And he gives, I think, the most money too. So, as you guys can see, so for a 6.2 kilograms, he gives 321 compared to the steel head. That, uh, that still the steel head got more currency. So, I think if you want to have uh, currency, no, no, it was experience, sorry. So, if you want to farm like currency and a lot of experience, you need to find a position where you can farm really quick the Chinook Salmon and the Steelhead. And in my opinion, there is only one position in the game. I can be wrong because it's always possible somewhere else is a position or, or not. If you guys can find another position that is better to farm, you can just uh, yeah give a comment under this video and I will check it. So. And there is one major problem with the striped bass too. He's hard to fish. He's like in open water. You don't got one spot. So there is a little bit of luck that you need to. It is very depending on the time. Because I fished him on the midday until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I didn't get one striped bass. So I think steelhead in combo with Chinook Salmon is the best. And you got in this game a position that gives that. So I will show you guys where that position is. So it's on the dam. You go fishing here. And if you go to here, you will see there are a lot of rocks. And straight in front of me, that's the position that you can catch a steelhead and the salmon. On that position, you can 
get the boat fish. I don't think there is another position that is as good as this. I think all the guys that got high level uh, in this game, like 23, 23, I see him the whole day catching steelhead and salmon. That means that I think that they are on that position too. So what you need to do is just get your medium spoon. Uh, of course, get your... Uh, I fish with the medium spoon. I fish with the Forecaster 260, the Helios 3000 power. Uh, 0 0.23 uh, bread line, that means 9.1 kilogram, that's more than enough. And the medium, uh, I think it's this one is the, the lemon uh, tiger spoon, so that's the best. You can catch the salmon with it and you can catch the steel hit with it. So what you do is like this, you just throw here. Uh, put your drag on 3, put your speed on 3, and you just get the fish in. The, the best point is between 26 and 18 meters. That's uh, where I got the most steelheads and salmon. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit in the... The water is not deep enough there, so... My throw was a little bit bad. But that's how you need to fish it, guys. And you can uh, start at uh, 6 o'clock and you can fish until 10 o'clock. By 10 o'clock, most of the time, my fishing net is totally full. So that works the best. For the guys that got a lot of money, I mean gold money, if you want to uh, make it a little bit more perfect, the experience farm, you can go between 7 and 8, you can go to this position. Put your large minnows up, throw it uh, in front of the rocks. If you want to have the exact depth and all that stuff, watch my salmon video. Between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the morning, if you throw there with large minnows, you get a lot of chance to get a trophy salmon. That means a trophy salmon gives, I think, around 1000, even sometimes more, 1200 experience with premium. And it's a fish of 16 kilograms. You need, of course, have a net if you want to keep it. But you don't need to keep it if you want to farm experience. Just throw them away. I do it the whole time too. So between 7 and 8, I get like two trophies salmon. It's like 2,000 experience. That's a lot. And on 8 o'clock, I go back to the position that I, got, that I just showed you guys. So that's it. Around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, your net is full. My net is full. It's 70 kilograms. So, and I will show you guys what amount of currency you can farm. It goes really quick. So I'm going to time forward to the next day. Just to show you guys my net. So let's go to 12 o'clock. Let's extend. And here you see 752 credits on currency. And I got almost 6,711 uh, experience. And now I'm thinking, can that be right? That's 12. That's too much. Yeah, but it's like it is. It's from one day. So, uh, but indeed, I had a lot of trophies. And trophies is almost 400. I had four or five trophies. Because that's really good on the steelhead too. In one day, I got like four or five trophies. Okay, that was a position, guys. I think that's the best uh, farming spot experience that you can do after level 18. So that spot until 7 o'clock. Then you go for a quick moment uh, for the trophy salmon until 8 o'clock. You go back to the spot. And at 10, 11 o'clock, you got 17 kilograms of fish. Probably around 4 to 5k experience and 750 to 800 currency. So thanks for watching guys, I hope this guide helps you guys, see you later, bye bye.